Faba. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As highly requested, today I'll be sharing my first hand experience traveling to Ghana. The good and one bad experience I had that almost ruined my lovely time in Ghana. Ghana is one of my most beautiful and most memorable country so far. This video is sponsored by the like button. So make sure you hit that like button, like, subscribe and share this video to someone that might need this video. A lot of people have been asking me why Ghana? Why did I choose to visit Ghana first? Fun fact, most people don't know that our first 100,000 views on this channel, Ghana gave it to us. Shout out to all the Ghanaians watching this video. Shout out to all Africans watching this video too. Also, we actually did a voting poll in our community tab on YouTube. Ghana was the most selected. So that's why we chose Ghana to visit us. So back to my experience. Honestly, the best time to travel to Ghana is December. Judging by my experience, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Ghanaians, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. Or if you've experienced Ghana in other periods, let me know in the comment section. But for me, the best time to travel to Ghana is December. I'll be letting you know why also during the course of the video. We're breaking my Ghanaian experience in two sections. Arriving in Ghana by here, the first thing you notice is the world-class Otoka International Airport. If you haven't seen my video on that, the video will be somewhere up here in the description box. Guys, the airport is standard. Also, the Wi-Fi in the airport is super fast. If you need an internet, it's very, very fast. Shout out to the Ghanaian government for that. Now, the people. I spent eight days in Ghana and each day came with a different vibe. I must say meeting people and going to different places Ghanaians are welcoming and respectful that's why i was shocked at that bad experience i had during my stay in ghana which i'll still share during the video Ghanaians use the word please a lot i must tell you guys like yes please no please every little word you hear them saying the please at the end of each sentence please 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 that shows that they are very respectful both young and old they use the word please that was shocking to me guys Ghanaians love to converse they love to share their experience living in ghana and also want to hear your experience as a foreigner or a diasporan visiting or staying in ghana Ghanaians don't joke with their culture charlie i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> i also experienced ghana's rich culture when i attended a friend's wedding <laughs> the Ghanaian wife. <laughs> Even though Ghanaians speak pidgin, they still merge it with Twi, which is predominantly spoken by Ghanaians. And their Dinkra symbol, and literally find it everywhere in Accra, Ghana. I also observed a relaxed and chill nature amongst Ghanaians. Charlie, no stress. <laughs> Compared to the, the hustling and the energetic vibe in Lagos, Nigeria. What you have mentioned, Ghanaian women are beautiful, respectful, and endowed. If you know what I mean. In all, all African women are beautiful and amazing organization there are some stunning structures in Accra Ghana and which will be available in our YouTube shorts video make sure you check it out you will also notice that there are some ongoing development going on in Ghana electricity in Ghana is superb imagine Nigeria having that amount of electricity usage every day guys the amount of productivity will be top-notch the Nigerian government is to take a cue from the Ghanaian government on electricity while on a plane back to Nigeria I did a deal of, of Accra skyline from the sky everywhere was lit it was impressive with the development i saw in Accra Ghana i can't imagine how Accra Ghana will be in the next five years safety in Ghana is favorable because i did shoot at night and during the day nobody approached me negatively or harassed me instead most people approached me to interview them while shooting i also met some subscribers which also gave me joy connect love tv connect. Connect. <laughs> if any Ghanaian complains to me about traffic in Lagos, mm, experienced a bit of traffic in Accra, Ghana, especially around um, Accra Mall area, also around um, Police Headquarters Road, Accra, Ghana. But none of this traffic I faced can be compared to the heavy traffic in Lagos. <laughs> this video is sponsored by the like button. So make sure you hit that like button. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Food. If you haven't seen my Ghanaian food video, Video yet you need to see it i had six popular Ghanaian food from the Nkote with granola soup nk bache anku and okra soup full and light soup love rice i had six of them 
in one day to tell you how amazing they are. Who actually came for me in the comment section that I didn't eat a particular Ghanaian food. I couldn't have eaten everything because when next I come to Ghana, what will I eat? So that's why I had to reserve some local food and street food I did not try in Accra, Ghana. My next visit to Ghana, my taste buds actually did the justice picking two favorite Ghanaian food so far which are light soup and fufu and the wache fun fact it was my bucket list to eat with this asanke bowl correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section from my experience and what i was told if you want to enjoy the best of Ghanaian food you need to visit local bars and food joints in terms of quality price and quantity local Ghanaian food bars are the best guys don't say i didn't tell you foreigners diaspora diasporans and tourism in the beginning of this video i mentioned that december is the best time to travel to accra ghana because africans foreigners diasporans all come to ghana at this period of time in december even though you will see foreigners everywhere in ghana which i was surprised unlike nigeria where you see foreigners in a particular area when accra ghana you can see foreigners everywhere that was surprising to me the year of return played a major role in this december in ghana is always lit because people from all over the world from italy germany america peru canada everyone comes to ghana can you imagine because of events like afrochella and afro nation i also noticed the rastafarian culture in ghana i don't know if it's a thing but i also noticed that in ghana the rastafarian culture i also spoke with some foreigners and diasporans and they love it in accra ghana tourism is one of the major revenue contributors for the Ghanaian government contributing 2.3 billion dollars into the economy in 2022 places like the black star gate and independence square serve as tourism spots and destination for foreigners in accra ghana you can't come to accra ghana for the first time and not take a picture at the famous black star gate in accra ghana literally transportation Ghanaian structure which are Ghanaian's local commercial buses are similar to the ones we have in Lagos, Nigeria. The yellow bus. Ghanaians have this yellow, is it yellow or orange color? Is it the line or a patch yellow? Rather, the Lagos buses have the yellow, fully colored yellow and black. During my stay in Accra, Ghana, I use boats, even though when I'm in Nigeria. So, you guys are boats. If you're watching this, come and sponsor our next video or videos. <laughs> I noticed that the basic boat driver in Accra, Ghana don't put on their ACs, which I never asked and I find that strange. So Ghanaians, let me know in the comment section why basic boat drivers in Ghana don't put on their ACs. Unlike Lagos, Nigeria, the basic boat drivers put on their ACs, even though sometimes you have to tell them to put it on. <laughs> now to the experience that almost ruined my amazing stay in Accra, Ghana. Okay, so on that lovely day, um, I also shoot a particular content in a particular mall. So I didn't know I was to take um, a permit. Honest thing, I saw some people with cameras in that particular mall, probably because I was with my tripod. That's why the security guy approached me. I think they saw me through the cameras. They actually told me to stop shooting, probably because I was with my tripod. I feel that was why. Because I saw some people shooting with their phone. I actually told the guy to direct me to their admin office. So he took me to the admin office. So the lady at the front desk told me that um, well, no, I'm not allowed to shoot. That I have to take permission, write letter, and all. I was like, wow. Because actually, that's the same thing they do in Nigeria. So in the mall. That's why sometimes we don't shoot in the mall. And we shoot outside the mall. Even though you want to shoot in the mall, you have to take permission from the authorities. So she was like, I should write. I will have to write letter and to the admin i was like ah that would be a long process so i left so something me told me guy go and write later this is for you to shoot content in this place because i was about to even interview someone the guy was ready for me to interview that's when the security guy stopped me from shooting so i went back again that okay i'll write later and the lady gave me the email address to send letter to. So I sent letter, so I waited and waited and waited and waited. She told me that the, the guy that will attend to my letter 
was coming. I waited for an hour. So while waiting, because I was getting tired of sitting in the reception, and so I decided to take a walk. Going out of the office, I met a man. So I was already conversing with him about what I do and my situation. He was responding to me positively with open mind and all. And um, he was already sharing ideas like probably where I can come the next day or take permission ahead and all and all. And I don't know what what happened that I told him I'm a Nigerian. I think because I was, I think I was to leave the next day. I think I was to leave the next day. Immediately I told him I was a Nigerian. He became aggressive to an extent. He became aggressive. I won't lie to you guys. He became aggressive. You know what he did? He took some steps backward and his countenance changed immediately. The person I was talking to, not quite long. He was the person I was talking to, he was responding to me positively. The moment I told him that alone, guys, that, that shocked me. Guys. That actually wanted to ruin my day. I just told him, thank you. I went back in and waited. Met the guy. The guy came later on. The response the guy gave was, it could be possible, basically. After delaying me, that particular incident didn't stop me. Instead, it motivated me to do more. I went straight outside the mall, just shooting. I didn't stop me shooting that day. I still went ahead to shoot and I achieved what I wanted to do. Most people will have used that experience to judge other Ghanaians. For me, it was nothing because because during my stay in Ghana, I met amazing people. So that little incident shouldn't be the one that will supersede the beautiful, the rich culture, the amazing people, the beautiful places. Experience I had in Ghana. I love Ghana. I love Ghanaians. I can't wait to get back to Ghana, guys. I can't wait to experience different parts of Ghana to the point where every little word I say right now, getting back to Nigeria, I'm always using the word chale. Chale, chale. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Medasi. See you on the next one, guys. <laughs>